Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be returning to Dark Souls 2. It's been a long time since I've actually played Dark Souls 2, but after all this time, I honestly have to say that Dark Souls 2 is such an amazing game. That is for sure. From all the people I've talked to from the several years I've been doing Dark Souls, I would say more people have told me they like Dark Souls 2 the most than any other Dark Souls game. Now, I personally feel like it depends on whichever one you played first. If you played Dark Souls 2 first, I think that you like Dark Souls 2 more than Dark Souls 1. If you played Dark Souls 1 first, you probably like Dark Souls 1 more than Dark Souls 2. And maybe even Demon Souls. If you played that, you might like Demon Souls more. I'm not exactly sure. But from what I've seen, the majority of people have told me they really love Dark Souls 2. And I do as well. I did not like this game when it first came out. But then, honestly... It really grew on me. I think they did a wonderful job at fixing the game and making it a lot better. And when you compare Dark Souls 2 to Dark Souls 3, this thing is fucking godly because I fucking hate Dark Souls 3. I just do not like that game. I definitely prefer Bloodborne over Dark Souls 3 any day of the week. Now that's something else I will be doing maybe after this series. I will start a Bloodborne series as well because it's been a long time since I've played that. So it actually should be fun to go back to it. Now the plan for this series, I'm going to take one of my older files. This was my shield only file, I believe. And it's soul level 150. So I'm going to take this file and I'm going to go to New Game Plus And we're going to play through the game. That way I can actually play around and have fun with some weapons. Because I actually have a whole bunch of weapons right here. Not every weapon in the game, but I have a shit ton of weapons that I can play around with and have some fun with. I know a lot of people don't want me to use like some type of really fast weapon, so I'm going to try to use some heavy strength weapons. I love the strength weapons in this game. To me, they're awesome. And they're balanced as well because they don't have fucking hyper armor like Dark Souls 3. So, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to begin Journey 2, and we are going to have a blast. Alrighty, here we go. Things betwees. Now, the thing about this game... Oh, I forgot about this shit on New Game Plus. There's these bastards here, which is terrible, actually. Fuck you! Oh my god, the damage is so unreal. This fucking weapon is amazing. I'm using the Mastodon Greatsword. And my health is extremely low. I don't know, the bar just looks, like, ridiculously low. But that's probably just a Dark Souls 2 thing. I'm not exactly sure. I think I'm in the Abyss Covenant as well, which is interesting. But I'm using the Flint's Ring, which in this game, this ring is pretty overpowered. The reason is, is because if I remember right, as long as you have like a 10 vitality, and that's just the stat, nothing else. If you just have a low stat, then you can actually get the bonus for the ring. And the bonus is like 50 extra attack rating. So yeah. That's pretty ridiculous. It could take any powerful weapon and make it so much better. But yeah, this sword, the Mastodon Greatsword, is a really good sword. You know what I'm going to go do? I'm going to go kill this one big fucker real quick. I can definitely take him. No doubt. The Mastodon weapons in this game are awesome. The next weapon I might actually play with might be the Mastodon Halberd, which is one of my favorite weapons of all time. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely love that weapon. So, let me fuck this guy up. These guys are still the fucking worst, in my opinion. I fucking hate them. No! Mm -mm. Do not fucking eat me! That's the big problem. Oh, you fell, you dumbass. I always love this move. This sword had a really awesome combo. It was this sword and a couple other swords. I can't remember which ones. They had some really amazing running combos. I can't remember how to do it exactly. Okay, now my stamina isn't the best because I wanted to get dexterity up. I got my dexterity up to 30 on this file. And that is because I want to use certain weapons like the Fume Ultra Great Sword. And to wield that, you have to have 30 dexterity, which is fucking weird to me. You would think you just need a lot of strength. But the issue is I have to lower my endurance. I remember I really like to have a lot of endurance in this game because... You kind of run out of, like, stamina pretty quick when you're swinging your weapon. I believe the combo I used to do was, like... How did, how was it? I think it was like this. Let, let me try it. This shit used to fuck people up in PvP. You do a run attack, you do that, you do this, and then... If you had the right amount of stamina, you could follow that up. Let me try that one more time. Let's... Ah, oh, fuck me. Hold up. I don't have the stamina for this at all. Basically, you do some shit like that. And you could, like, dominate people with that. It was so good. Alright, let's come in here and fucking skip this bullshit, because who wants to see the cutscenes, right? 
Alrighty, so that's done now. Let's go ahead and head out. And there's so many things about Scholar that I still don't really fucking know. I haven't played Scholar enough. I've played it like five or six times probably, which is actually quite a bit. But for a game like this, you really have to play it a bunch to understand every little thing. And one of the things I'm talking about here is I don't really remember exactly like the way to actually go about all these statues you have to get rid of. Will this guy come down to me maybe, bro? Come on. If I remember right, this guy actually spawns on New Game if you do it right. Will you come down? I'm going to have to go get him because I want to murder that motherfucker right now. That should be fun. And the plan in this episode is I'm going to try to go and defeat the Dragon Rider. I'm going to cheese him just because it's always fun to cheese him. And on top of that, I'll probably fuck it up. So that should be interesting. If I can actually do it right, I'll be surprised. But I'm going to go and cheese the Dragon Rider and go and fight the last giant. That will be the plan. All right, let's fuck these assholes up. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love the running attack for the Great Swords. It's the same as it was in Dark Souls 1, and I always thought it was really good in Dark Souls 2 as well. Absolutely dominates. In my opinion, though, the Great Swords in this game, I think the ones that have that move, that R2 move, are much better than the ones with the Super Poke. Because the ones with the one-handed poke, which would be like a stab, that was really good. Like, the Claymore in this game has that move. But I'm trying to remember what else the Claymore. I actually, I think the Claymore in this game has the best moveset, in my opinion, or one of them. Let me see. Maybe I'm wrong on that. So let's see what happens when I do the R2. Nope. See, that's the one I don't like. I'm not a big fan of that. It's all right, but it's not the best. I think the Defender's Greatsword might have had the best moveset for all the great swords, in my opinion, because it had, like, the best two worlds. It had the Stab, and it also had the Spin Around move. Which I thought was amazing. Alright, let's open this up and create our little shortcut. So let me come over here, knock this down. Fuck you, bird. Nobody wants to fuck with you. And I need to figure out how to fuck to get over to the, where that guy is at. I think what I have to do... I think I have to come in here, but you can't come in here. Yeah, see, there's a fucking shitty statue here. That's so stupid. I don't think I can get up there from here. Maybe I can, actually. I know that there's this stupid jump in this area, which is actually quite annoying. My very first death, so you guys, I remember my very first Dark Souls 2 death was actually here. I fell and died to gravity, of course. Now there is a ladder here, so maybe this will take me up top. And I'm trying to remember, is there any way to like become human or have more health? See, that's the issue. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to light all the fucking shitty torches. Hold up. Bitch! Oh, I didn't plunge. What? Where am I? Oh, man. I'm a little confused here. Where the fuck am I at? Okay. Come through here. There's an item. Oh, they give you a crack red eye order to start the game. I didn't even know that. Okay, let's go on through. And where does this take me? Oh, hey, I'm up here with this fucking douche. Hello. Oh, and I missed. Like a scrub. Alright, bro, you wanna go? You wanna go? No. Yeah. Rah. That's that combo right there, man. It does insane damage. Alright. Fuck you, bitch. The hell on somewhere. Okay, you get the imported trousers. Okay. Yeah, see, there's all these fucking torches here. And if you light all of them, you get invaded by some random motherfucker or something. And if you kill that motherfucker, you get, like... Something out of it. Don't remember exactly what, but it was pretty decent. Another okay great sword in this game is actually the blue great sword, which is kind of the moonlight great sword ripoff. That one's not bad either, in my opinion. I always thought that one was pretty fucking cool. And you can get it at the start of the game if you want. All you have to go do is kill the guy, and you know that's something that you normally shouldn't be doing in a game like this. But you know, fuck it. Why not, right? All right, so we're at Majula now. Don't need to worry about a lot of bullshit. This is the beautiful part about NG+. I don't actually have to be like, okay, I have to go get my shard now and all this stupid shit. That was always a deal. Oh, God. I can't tell you how many times I started this shit and actually grabbed that goddamn shard. Let me talk to her real quick. You know what? There's no fucking point to talk to her, actually. The reason why is because I don't actually have to get my first potion from her. Alright, let's rest here, 
and look at my fucking vagina. Nice. And of course, I have my Desert Sorceress set on, which I was just using in Dark Souls 3, which I'm really glad they added that in there. But fuck, Dark Souls 3, man. Fuck that game, seriously. All right, let's come over here. What's interesting to me, I noticed quite a few people actually still playing this. You will actually find a lot of blood stains on the ground. You will actually find matches and stuff. People actually playing the game. There's summon signs and shit. I'm like, damn, dude. Really goes to show that people really love Dark Souls 2. And they're willing to actually continue to play it all the way up till now, which is kind of crazy. I wonder if Bloodborne is completely dead or not. Let me know, guys. Is anybody out there, have you played Bloodborne recently? I know they had a little event for Bloodborne not too long ago, which was really cool. I really wanted to do something with that, but I just kind of decided not to because I was doing some other shit at the time. I think I was addicted to Mass Effect or something. I don't really remember exactly what was happening. Our Mass Effect was just about to come out, and right as Mass Effect came out, they did some type of event for Dark Souls fucking 2? No, 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 not for Dark Souls, for Bloodborne. They did an event for Bloodborne. Look at all these fucking bloodstains! See what I'm talking about? Like, what the fuck is this, dude? Seriously? I think a lot of people are doing this. They're like, alright, fuck, let's go play Dark Souls 2 Scowl of the First Sin. Alrighty. Unless these bloodstains never go away. Oh my god, look at the damage. It's crazy, dude. I just three shot of that motherfucker. Now, I don't remember exactly what you have to do to wake up all the knights. I think you have to kill the dragon rider, maybe. Oh god, this fucking guy, though. I hate these dudes so much. They're so annoying. Fuck you, die, bro, die. Thank you. Okay, I don't want to lock onto that guy. Also, the way potions work in this game is kind of interesting as well. You can't parry these guys, can you? I don't think you can. No, okay, maybe I just suck. I'm not sure. Okay, now for whatever reason, it says I cannot be invaded here. I think I'm online. I'm pretty sure I am. Fuck you. Now, in this game, you can't do the charge heavy, which is fine i have no issue with that that was something they introduced with bloodborne if i remember right and if i remember as well this is cancer over here oh yeah oh yeah this this is this is not good okay fuck you bro ah, fuck no ow die 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 no no stamina's gone dude's coming to get me the guys with the swords are the worst dude no all right fuck you but they are really weak holy shit Okay, and now everybody's coming to party. Alright, fuck. No. Fuck. I'm fucking up my moveset, bro. One thing about Dark Souls 2, I will say, and I still feel the same way, the game always, to me, felt a little clunky, you know, compared to Dark Souls 1. Because Dark Souls 1 felt very, uh, fluent, you know? Dark Souls 3, I think, feels the same way, where it feels more fluent like you you feel like you have more control over what you're doing where in dark souls 2 it just feels a little bit more clunky which i never understood why it felt that way since this was the second game and the first game had no problem not feeling that way so to me that was always a weird thing but in the end like i said did it really matter all that much no because this game was really fun that's the main thing there's a lot of shit that's really fun about dark souls 2 and the PvE is a blast just to run around and play. The DLCs are great. That was always a really good thing as well. But I think the main thing, too, is the PvP just felt better, you know? Oh, you know what? That's right. That's not good. Okay, hold up. I'm running away, man. I ain't trying to deal with that motherfucker right now. See, I don't know if this is the New Game Plus deal or what. Fuck you. My stamina goes away so fast in this game. Okay, fuck off. I might need to respect this build again. I think that's right. You have to have soul vessels for that, though. Now, you can get an unlimited amount of that, though, which is kind of good. Fuck, I keep messing up my combo. No, bro. Ow! Oh, stupid lance shit. Get on somewhere. Why did they gotta put a hammer guy there, bro? Ow! Jesus Christ! I was out of potions. This is crazy. Fuck you! Die! Oh, God, you didn't die, bro. You didn't die. Okay, last potion. Well, at least I get to cheese the dragon rider, right? All right. Let's try to hit this combo now. Fuck you. Nah, nah. I'm not going to pick that shit up. I'm going to try to avoid picking up a bunch of useless crap. But we will see. Okay. Now, here's the moment of truth. Can I actually cheese this motherfucker right now? 
I am not sure. Maybe on New Game Plus, that's the way it works, where you always have to, like, unnullify the shit. That's kind of stupid, in my opinion. Oh, I fucked it. Oh, man, I fucked it. No! I don't think there's a way to, like, unfuck it at this point. Uh, I'll try again. Let's see. Fuck you. Come over here. Come on, bro. Come on. Nah, nah, it's fucked. <gasps> no! Gravity. It's working against me. Wow. And I'm ugly as fuck. That's the biggest bummer in the game. I need to get me, like, a billion human FMGs, like, right now. Yeah, I need to figure that out about the whole nullify crap, because I don't mind if people invade me. I'm going to have to, like, do that in every area, maybe? That's kind of whack about New Game Plus, got to be honest. Like, I don't get it. I don't know why it's doing that. And I don't remember if that was just a Dark Souls 2 thing, or was that a Scholar thing? Because if that's a Scholar thing, that's really stupid. They should have never added that in. All right, let's come over here. You know, the biggest problem with Bloodborne, which if they make a Bloodborne 2, I really hope they fix this, is that I hated, like, invading people in that game. The PvP in that game was fun. I enjoyed it, although there was a lot of cancerous shit, like the healing and all that. There was problems with it, don't get me wrong. But it was a fun PvP. I really did like it a lot. But the biggest issue with Bloodborne... I need to focus here. Fuck you. Oh, my God, I suck. I just got to kill him normally. Okay, you gonna fall, bro? It looks like he's about to fall, man. Yeah! <laughs> no! Gravity. Stay the hell away from me. Fucking crazy, man. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Hopefully he's dead dead. Oh, God, tell me he's dead dead because I kind of... He might come back. Because I kind of remember that in Dark Souls 2. One of the games, if, like, the guy died and then didn't say, like, victory or whatever, if you fucked up and you got killed as the host and your co-op killed the guy for you, it didn't count! So that might be what just happened. I'm going to be so salty if that's the... I think it did. I think it fucking did. Like, it didn't fucking count because I felt... Oh, my God! I didn't think I'd get pissed off, like, in the first ten minutes of the fucking game. Alright, gotta do this right. Get your fucking foot on the shit right. Fall the fuck off, you fucking dick! Okay, no, 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 no! Gravity Wants to bring me down Oh, God. Okay, fuck. Let me try to get my point across, though, about Bloodborne before I get fucking knocked off the cliff again. You know, the deal is, I'm actually out of gravity now. Like, I'm gonna run out of the goddamn song if I'm not careful here. So let me try to do this right. I might just fight him legit. I don't know. Maybe I should pull the fucking handles? That's pretty terrible. But yeah, I just didn't like the system, the way that PvP worked in Dark Souls. I mean, fucking Bloodborne. And fucking, uh, Soulborn, bro. That game. Yeah, I'm fucking this all up. Alright, get your ass. Fall off, bro! Fall! Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so it worked. It just took a second. I didn't like the system. I thought that system sucked. What they really need to do with Bloodborne 2, if that game does come out eventually, I really want them to put a system in where you can have summon signs. That would be nice. And if you're going to have the stupid bell lady again, make sure that that bell lady will appear in every fucking area you go to if you're playing online. That's the big deal. Like, they didn't have that, which was fucking ridiculous and stupid in my opinion. That's how it should have been. All right, let me skip all this shit. Make sure she's going to leave and I can do the shit later. And let's go to the forest of the fallen giants. But anyway, yeah, that was my big deal with Bloodborne. I didn't like the fact there was only like two areas in the game where the bell lady would automatically spawn. And those just so happen were the best places for PvP because you can actually randomly invade people. Because the deal was the bell lady would spawn if you connected to someone with co-op. So you were like guaranteed in that game to always be getting ganked. If you were trying to invade in like some normal area. Unless the guy was trying to summon 
and he couldn't actually get anyone to join, then maybe you can get into his world and kill him before the co-ops start coming in. But it was pretty fucking cancerous. That was the big problem with Bloodborne. So hopefully they would fix that in the future. All right, let's fucking now go back to Majula and head over to the forest of the fallen giants. All right, so I'm going to do something that should be interesting because this is a New Game Plus thing that I didn't know about. I'm not sure if this is a scholar thing or not, but this chest is a mimic chest on New Game Plus. Now, on New Game, it's not, okay? Because somebody was screaming at me telling me that this chest was a mimic chest, and I was like, get the fuck out of here. I know it's not. I've never had a problem opening that chest, but that just goes to show that I, like, never fucking ever actually play new game plus on dark souls 2 so yeah this is interesting let me fuck around with this i don't think you get anything different maybe it's just a trick let's see yeah it's just the rusty coin so i think it's a trick for new game plus is that what they do is they on new game it's a normal chest and on new game plus it's a mimic chest they kind of fuck you over and you know get a good lol out of you because that's really fucking trolly man like that's kind of crazy on how trolly that really is. All right, so I'm gonna have an ogre up here I need to take out. And I'm also gonna probably fight the pursuer. I'm gonna try to fight him maybe up top. I'm not exactly sure. I'll figure it out as I go along here. Let's pick this shit up. I just know that like this area really goes to show on how like cancerous this fucking game is compared to like the original Dark Souls 2. They really made it a lot harder. Okay, I can't die to gravity. Why am I even? No, 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 no! Ah! Gravity is working against me. Oh my god, Gravity 4, jumping zero. You know, it's pretty bad when I started to puss out. I seen that jump and I said, you know what? I'm probably gonna forget how to jump in this game. I'm probably gonna die and I'm gonna flip the fuck out. So I didn't wanna do it. I didn't want to do the jump. I, I knew that was going to kill me. And then when I started walking on that fucking pole, I was like, dude, I cannot stabilize myself. I cannot. I was nervous. Like, I was legit fucking nervous right there. That's pretty fucking wild. All right. Let me try to do this part now. Like I was saying before, though, this part really goes to show on what they did with Scholar, which was such a good thing, man. They put the ogre here, which is like, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, sit on me, you fat fuck. Ow. Ow, ow, you fucking dickwad, stop hitting me. Okay, okay, die. Now, 12 potions, that is the max in this game, isn't it? With plus 5? I think it is. Maybe I'm tripping, maybe it was plus 10? Shit. Oh, 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 no, 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 combos are bad with this guy. He can do some serious damage. Alright, no. Another thing, too, one thing I didn't like about this game... I didn't like it because I thought that it was really underpowered and really overpowered. I know that's so weird, right? Agility in this game was fucking stupid. I wish they would have never added that into Dark Souls 2. I didn't like the agility stat at all. The reason, like I said, is because when you first start the game, it's super underpowered. Like, it's like you're getting hit by everything. You cannot iframe through nothing. You have to upgrade that stat on every build if you want to actually roll through attacks. Otherwise, you're going to fuck up. Unless you are, like, the master of timing with, like, a really low agility fucking stat. Like, I don't know how to do it myself. I can't. I cannot deal with a low agility stat in this game. So, anyway, like I was saying, it was really fucking underpowered when you first start the game. And then later on, it becomes extremely overpowered. Where, like, the iframes in this game are just fucking stupid. Like, they're so overpowered. It's unbelievable. I'm actually going to have some fun here. This should be interesting. Uh, this is something I did once to uh, Girl V Game, which was really fucking funny. I was going to summon her so we could do the area for co-op. And before I actually summoned her, this is what I did. I ran up here and I woke everybody up. Okay, I woke all the dudes up just because what I wanted was I wanted to have her like fucking come over here to where the ladder's at. And then just see this madness. This is crazy, right? So I'm going to pick this up real quick. Why did I pick that up? That was stupid. I'm going to go get this item. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's pretty ridiculous. But yeah, man. Agility is like stupid. Like, I, I remember all the Havel fucking butt faces and shit with agility stat. It was fucking crazy. Alright, look, look at this. Hold up. 
Look, look, look at this shit. Look at this shit, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? Seriously? In a way, this is your easiest way of doing it, though. He doesn't fucking, like, get them all built up and just murder all of them. Bitches, no, die. Hey, how y'all doing over here? Rah! And there you go. Every one of those motherfuckers are dead now. And it's actually a lot safer, in my opinion, to do it that way. You get, like, a good weapon that can maybe spin to win or something. Like the um, halberd. Maybe the mastodon halberd, for example. And, yeah, you can fuck some shit up. I want to see, what is the highest AR? This thing has 300 base attack. Fuck it, dude. Let's do it. Let's use the fucking fume greatsword for a little bit. This should be fun. Ah! God damn, 840 damage from the R1. That's pretty crazy. Ah! Okay, that looked like 644, which wasn't so great. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm trying to remember exactly how this thing... But this weapon actually has like a weapon art to it. Which was like the first weapon art ever. How do you do this? Fuck. Okay, how, how do you do this? I think it's L2. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that's literally a weapons art. Oh, wow. <laughs> that like legitly is a weapons art. That's awesome as fuck. Okay. Come up here. That move was so overpowered too. So ridiculous. Fuck you. That stupid like block shit. I remember like this weapon in PvP was ridiculous like it, it still probably is ridiculous it's so annoying to counter this fucking thing because if somebody's really good with it they will fucking dominate you oh my god the accuracy though sucks i won't say that much wow that damage though is crazy man i think that's because of the flint ring i think the ar on this thing is like seven fucking hundred Okay, I should probably try this real quick. Let's light the bonfire. I have enough souls to buy some shit if I need to. I don't know if I actually need to or not. Let's see. Do I have fire bombs? I do have some. Okay. First things first. Let me talk to this lady real quick. All right, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, next time I see you, you'll be in Majula. All right, let's try this. Now, last time I did this, I actually did it right. But previous times, I was fucking it up. I fucked this up so many times since this game came out. Fuck, I, I don't remember the exact angle. I think it's low. Fuck, I'm gonna run out of firebombs here. God damn it. It's like fucking me. Fuck. I got this on my first try. All right, there we go. Last time I did that, though, I did get it on like my first try. It was pretty dope. All right, let's go and deal with this part real quick. Hey, motherfucker. Screw you. I don't have a fire weapon right now, but I can use a fire bomb. Oh, never mind. Okay. Fuck. And I missed, of course. Oh, you fucking dick. Eat that. That is so overpowered. Why am I throwing a fire bomb at the guy? God damn it. I'm so disgusting and ugly right now. It's like bothering me. Okay. Fuck you. Wow, man. You don't really heal much of your health in this fucking game, though. It takes, like, so many potions to actually get back up to full health. That's kind of an issue, I gotta be honest. Alright, let's try to do this. I might even try to parry this guy. Wow, I have enough strength to one-hand this fucking thing. Alright, cool. Hey, buddy. No. No, you can't parry the shield, of course. No, I don't think you can parry that attack either. Please don't fuck me over. Don't, don't fuck me up yet, bro. There you go. That's a good one. Rah. Oh, I missed. Yeah! Bitch. Wow, you get him like a couple times if you parry him. Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna try to parry him then. No. No, 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 no. Chill the fuck out, bro. Chill out. There we go. Let's get some hits in. Wow, three hits for free if you parry him. That's pretty awesome. I think you can parry that attack too, no problem bitch no ow see like that's the deal like if you have like your iframes oh shit oh shit okay if you have like your iframes uh our agility at like i think one you can get it up to like 120 ish i think it's pretty ridiculous oh that's right these fucks get up hello but i remember yeah you can get it up really fucking high and it's extremely overpowered Bitch, get the fuck on somewhere. Hello. 
You want some too? Oh my god, the spear guys. These guys. Cancer as hell, dude. No. There we go. Yeah. I want to see this damage. Aw. It wasn't like the actual right amount of damage. Okay, I think that's it. I don't really need, need any items over here, I don't think. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Rah. See, I'm using this fume fucking sword now because, to be quite honest, I don't see myself using this in the future. I think I'm going to actually respect this build and get rid of the sword. I, not get rid of the sword, but just not use it. Because it requires 30 dexterity. I think, like, every other weapon in the game besides this one. I kind of remember them taking, like, up to 22, I think, was the dexterity needed to use most weapons in the game. I don't know. Could be wrong on that. Maybe it was 26 or something. But I know that it wasn't that much. It wasn't fucking 30. That's for sure. Okay, we got that dick up there. Hey, buddy. You want some, huh? Come on. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck, I suck so much. All right, come on, bro. Swing. Don't jump attack, you dick. Oh, my God. He's kicking my ass. Oh, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me, bro. All right, all right. Bitch. <laughs> what the fuck you smoking, man? This is a fume sword. Wow. This fucking guy is kind of OP. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, fuck. Dude, I am, like, legitly getting destroyed right now. There we go. All right. Yeah! <laughs> 2,500? Are you fucking serious right now? What the fuck? Okay, uh, I'll take it. Oh, dude! That guy! Dude, look at this! Oh! <gasps> this guy! Oh my god, he just had what happened to me! Oh my god, like, that's probably one of my most, um, famous videos, because it was in sunlight. Oh shit, wait a minute. It was in Sunlight Blade's fucking top 10 rage moments. That guy right there literally had what happened to me happen to him. Oh my god, there's a lot of dudes over here. Fuck! Oh shit! Oh god, I'm in the corner! Yeah, he was talking to Pate and got fucking destroyed. Oh my god, these fucking red bar fucks, dude. Jesus Christ! How many of these fucking guys are there? No! And I'm dead. Oh, wow. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, this shit's ridiculous, man. There's so many fucking enemies everywhere. All right, come on. Yeah, bitch. I no, 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 no. I take it back. It was just a prank, bro. All right, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Nice. Killed one of the red fucks. Jesus Christ. Do the move again, bro. God, that move is so good. The fact that it gives you fucking uh, ability to block, that's crazy, dude. No. Stop hitting me. And I missed. Wow. Okay. There we go. See, what I wanted to do was I wanted to shoot one of these things over there to blow up. There we go. Blast it. Wait, what? Is it this one? I, I could swear you could actually hit... What the fuck? I could swear you can hit all the fucking exploding barrels. Because if I go over there, I'm going to get fucked over by those exploding barrels. Okay, yeah, I guess that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank God. I actually fucking destroyed it before he blew it up. Alright, these guys are going to chase me now. Fuck you. Hold up, let's try to do the guard break. Oh, shit, a red turtle! Oh, that's not good. Oh my god! Okay, one sec, one sec, bro. <laughs> Just chill the fuck out. God damn it! I'm getting so fucked. I hate the shield guys with a passion. They are the worst. Honestly, this weapon too. Like, I love it, but it's kind of an awkward way. I think the one-handing it is probably better against most enemies. Yeah, because I like the second hit of that so much more. That horizontal shit. I hate the vertical shit with the Ultra Great Swords. It's terrible. Alright, I am not going to fall for that trap. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to fall for this fucking trap over here with that guy. Can you buff this weapon? Hold up a second. I kind of remember. That's a Dark Souls 2, I mean 3 thing. Hold up, let's see. Can't do it in this game, right? Nah. 
that's only a Dark Souls fucking 3 thing. Which is crazy that you could buff the Fume Ultra Greatsword in that game. Fucking ridiculous. Alright. Come down here now. I'm also going to use a fucking effigy because I cannot stand the way I look. And I don't feel like I'm going to die to the fucking last giant. But I've already died so much in this episode. Who fucking knows, right? Alright. Fuck you, dick! Get the hell on somewhere. I'm not going to summon Pate either, although his sign's not there because I didn't do his bullshit. Alright, let's go and do this super easy boss fight. Ah, Bitch. No. Fuck you. Oh, I'm getting stomped. Knew that. Oh, here comes his arm. God, the damage on this weapon is fucking crazy. No, ow. Stop stomping. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, stop stomping on me, bro. There we go. Alright, so obviously this game does get... Even, like, with the vanilla bullshit game, which, um, you know, I gotta be honest, that was one of the big criticisms I had about Dark Souls 2, is I just felt like it was so easy. But that's coming from Dark Souls 1. That's what I noticed as well. I brought this up earlier, that the people that really love Dark Souls 2 the most, who says it's their favorite one, generally are the people that started with Dark Souls 2. So let me know if you fall into that category. But the people that started with Dark Souls 2 definitely did not think that Dark Souls 2 was, like, fucking easy at all. Because they started with Dark Souls 2. Where if you played Dark Souls 1 and you were used to Dark Souls, obviously Dark Souls 2 wasn't that hard. But I would probably say that the people who played Dark Souls 2 a lot and then went and played Dark Souls 1 probably had a lot easier time doing Dark Souls 1 than they did actually doing like Dark Souls 2 because they are used to Dark Souls 2. I don't know. I keep saying the word Dark Souls and it's kind of getting ridiculous. So let me go ahead and end this episode here. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everybody has a very nice day and peace. So